Hey, Redcon Raider here, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3, where today, with the goblin leaders slain, the tieflings saved, and the druids, uh, you know, more or less neutralized, I suppose, we're, uh, we're really just tying up loose ends before we usher this chapter of our story to a close. And we're starting with a little light-hearted larceny. Yeah, yeah, you know, I was already clearing the camp off screen. So I figured, what the heck, might as well grab the idol if we can. And it turns out it was super easy. I, I literally just took it. I did agonize on it a bit. And, you know, I think, ultimately, if... If the druids had been more collectively decent, I think, like, genuinely good people, I might not have gone through with it, but... I think it's safe to say that Kaga was not the only problem here. There are some decent druids in the mix, but but they were easily drowned out by the more apathetic or even just bloodthirsty and vindictive ones. So we'll call this their very mild punishment, I suppose. They couldn't use this thing responsibly, so I'm taking it away from them. No, there's collectors in the city. They'll pay good coin for it, I swear. You do good work. If you can handle more than goblins, might be I'll have use of you in Baldur's Gate. Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. I'm sure it won't be a complete disaster. Anyway, I've uh, got this idol, if you still want it. Thanks. See you in Baldur's Gate, I hope. Now scram, before I get emotional. We gave the sacred idol to Maul. She promised to repay us in Baldur's Gate. But has already given us a ring of protection. Plus one AC, plus one saves. Some nice, straightforward bonuses for once. We did it. Lovely. Come on. Let's get this thing equipped. And we will immediately put it to good use, because the second thing on our to-do list is a return to the goblin camp. Uh, I did do some light scouting off-screen, and uh, it looks like all of the non-combatants have actually left the exterior camp. The party's over, it's just full of angry goblins now. So, I figure we'll pop in, just go in, both guns blazing, clear the whole place out, because otherwise that's a lot of loot and XP we're leaving on the table. Not to mention, of course, even scattered, they still pose a distinct threat to the citizens of the Sword Coast. In and out, 15, 20 minutes. Plus whatever time it takes to strip the place down. Oh, and it sounds like we've been spotted on arrival. Yes, immediately into it, nice. Initiatives could have been better. But nothing too bad so far. There should definitely be more gabos than that. I can still hear some chattering in the background, so I imagine they'll... Oh, yep. <laughs> and there we are. My goodness. Um, okay, but yeah, notice no, no suspect targets. No children, no true souls. Just goblins and... Guard Gurgon, who's definitely our heavy hitter of the bunch. But I think we've got this. Let's block off this stairway. Have to keep going. That's fine. Summons up next. We'll get Shovel over here. I know we've got at least one on that fire. As for Rex, we'll get him up top. Keep those perches clear. Got someone up on that tower, too. Rip the kiss's face off. Hmm. 
breaks it half. Gurgon incoming. Oh no, a warg. What will I do? Well, I could just do this. Trim yet another dangling plot thread. So, did that work? Are they on their way? Alright, well, I assume they'll be here soon. But for now... Let's deal with this guy who's dogging our steps. Oh, wait, uh, okay. No, okay, um, well, this is awkward. Touche. Guess that was a pretty good move after all. Alright, fair enough. Slight change of plans. You know, I was going to save this, but... Uh, let's go nuclear. Trader. I kind of figured he'd be one of the ones who'd leave. Um, please don't. I wonder how much of his inventory Grat will drop. I know it used to be if you knocked out a trader. They would drop their full inventory. But I think they have since fixed that. Now they only drop some highlight items, regardless of how you take them out. The rest of their inventory is forever lost in plunder purgatory. Never to be seen again. Under their noses. And Karlak unleashed. You should have stayed Gurgon. One, two. We need to get some grace down. Hopefully the halberd will hold up. Yeah, I could hear him drunkenly singing in my ear. Perch cleared. And hold. Stop that. That's no good. All right, let's push him back. We'll knock him back towards the stairs, then lay down grease.
Don't waste a step. Fantastic. I am so stoked there's no size limit on that. No, thank you. A bit wasteful, but we've got R and R right around the corner. doing his job. Rex keeps them boiled whilst Gale keeps them oiled. Nice. And then we'll have him back up shovel with haste. Garlic back in. Then I'm out. Oh, right, we still have this guy up here. Booyog Piddle. Sorry, bud. Though, I mean, you were also going to let your tribe beat Volo, so, you know, maybe not that sorry. On the move. So I guess Slump and his crew are just no-shows, huh? Maybe they left after we cleared the goblin leaders. I mean, full disclosure, a big part of the reason I called them was just so we could kill them too. Maybe Lump saw that coming, hence his reluctance to horn in. Yeah. 
My goodness. So many attacks. Not nearly enough targets. Yeah, uh, Larian may have overtuned haste a little. I think it's doubling her total attacks instead of just giving her one extra attack like it's supposed to. Not, I suppose, that it really makes a huge difference in this case. She'd be tearing these guys up either way. Level 5 is just such a huge power jump, you know? I mean, honestly, Gale and Auric could have probably cleared this place out just by themselves. Having Karlak here just speeds it up. See if we can get the halberd up top. Check for stragglers. Flip cleared. Oh, wow. Re really? You didn't notice any of this going on behind you. Though, to be fair, I suppose, it is weirdly hard to get perception bonuses in Baldur's Gate 3. Andy. Sure would have loved that observant feat. We've got this. All right, looks pretty clear up top. So, of course, we'll do a full sweep after. Clear. The easy path. Party's over. Then we've still got some cleanup. Wanna dance? <sighs> Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. What path lies before me? Let's not get bogged down with looting just yet. I'll take care of that off screen. So I would like to at least check Trader Grot. Ah, uh, yeah, the bulk of his goods are gone. Plus two hide, no big deal. That's actually one point lower than Carlac's current gear. Talk to me. 
onward. Crusher. Feel my mistress's wrath. <laughs> You're in a lot of trouble, buddy. Prepare to savor defeat. Soldier. And time to make a point. Gotta say, I really thought that would be more effective. And still alive, okay. Where do I go from here? That's almost impressive. Right on my feet. All right, Crusher. Let's chat. The corpse regards you lifelessly. <laughs> Asking the important questions, I say. So, hey, uh, Crusher, I, I've got to ask. What's up with you and Feet? You have something you maybe want to say? Of course not. That's disgusting. Right, right. And yet you kissed my feet completely unsolicited. So you're saying you wouldn't do that again? No. No kissing you anywhere. Yeah, that is technically true. You're dead. Well, Crusher, it's been fun, but you're now just one more of my fallen arches. I hope you took some sort of very confusing lesson from all this. Absolute is forever. She'll punish. Oh, yeah? And how exactly is she going to do that? Absolute blesses, gives power. Makes true souls. And we're right back to feet. Hey, you got anything on you? Touring magic. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Touring, right, of course. Touring of speed, okay. Though caked with mud and grime, the ring smells faintly of lavender. Remarkable, considering where it's been. And that will go straight to Karlak, who already has two magic rings. Oh, that's easy. We'll dump the spurred band. And on we go. We've still got the Gabos at the gate, plus some other potential strays. We'll clear them all out in one fell swoop. gate. Nice, nice. Wargs might be trouble, but nothing else too notable. Rex will impede their archers. What's the plan? We'll have Gale drop grease on the gate. Up. 
Ooh, one more. Summon on deck. Congratulations, you just made yourself a priority target. Grace. Well, that is not quite what I was going for, but you know what? That's still fantastic. Let's cook with fire, baby. Over there. This will help. There we go. Summon cleared. Never a dull moment. Buy ourselves some breathing room. on deck. Things are heating up. Dog pile on Rex. Which is fine. That's what he's there for. In fact, let's let's get shovel dug in too. The important thing here is to hold these guys in place until Gale gets another go. Nice. Bug off. Lance board is set. And time to flex that evocation mastery. Good move. In theory, this should ignore our summons. Never actually tested it, though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just as advertised, fantastic. It's just, you know, with this game, you never know. Let's wrap this up. That's it. Flank clear. Time to unpack. Yes, yes, shovels do go in holes. Moving on. No, shovel! Your holes! For some reason, I was registering the warg as being prone. Can't afford to let up. No great loss. We can get another shovel. Like 
the last warg falls. Which just leaves the archers. Aye, aye. My little trick. And we're good. The camp has now been broken. Need to find a way forward. Though we do still have a fair bit of looting ahead of us, plus the spider pits. Let me just check the corners here real quick. Nice stash of potions, okay. Where does this go? Mountain Pass. That's our exit to Act 2. Noted. And avoided for now. Something over there. Oh, yes, this does seem like it was well worth burying. Thanks. Hey, come on now. I know it's no fun playing a corpse, but you're kind of ruining the immersion. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. So that is just an alternate entrance that would have let us bypass the gate. All right, let's hit the pause button real quick. I'll sweep the camp. Then we'll have a quick pit stop. I see you back there. That has a nice ring to it. Spiders are not hostile. Yes, my desire. Closer, my sweet. I will wrap you and bind you and bite you and eat you. Yes, yes, I suppose you could do that, but, um, counterpoint. Could you maybe not do that? I see your sickness. A poison in the skull. Do not touch me. Do not come close. Huh. That's actually pretty perceptive. You are no goblin. Who are you? Answer me or die. Oh, you know, no one special. Just, just dragging myself all over this mortal coil. is my home. Do not stay long. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. You are safe. We will not bite one another. Deal. Gone, spoiled meat. Gone from here. Right, right. I'll just poke through these bone piles and be on my way.
you know what, I'll, uh, I'll give this place a proper pixel hunting pass off screen. Let me just finish checking the perimeter real quick. Aha! Okay, and that, that leads back to the, um, collapsed shrine just off of, uh, Gut's bedroom. I was avoiding the spider pits because I figured it was its whole separate area, like another sub dungeon or something. But it turns out it's just two rooms. I actually feel kind of silly now. Be right back. I'm fine. Loosen up, no, no, an Albert. <laughs> Toddlers are easier to please than you lot. I like that music. Carlac? Would you look at this place? All these people happy because of us. It's nice to be somewhere where good is still possible. And with good potations, too. Oh, yes, thank you. Play it cool, Auric. Work up to it. So, I'm enjoying the party? Fuck yes! I'm celebrating my freedom, and our friendship, and these folks' bright future besides. All I need now is a fire retardant lover to get lost in till sunrise. Yeah, yeah, funny you should mention that. You know, we do still have those elixirs running. <clears throat> Just saying. So, so I imagine this must be pretty tame compared to what you're used to down below, huh? Not so much. You spend the whole time avoiding swords and schemes. Plus, people just get nastier as the night wears on. I tried to make friends at first. Learned my lesson fast. Better to keep to yourself in hell. Yeah, yeah, I guess that does that does track. So hey, look, Carlac, I gotta say, um Oh boy, uh, you know. I just uh you you and me, we've been traveling together for a while now, and um I mean I like you too. A lot. I'm sure you know that by now. Oh, God. You know I want that more than fucking anything. I'll come find you when the others have gone to bed. Wait up for me, all right? She is fucking adorable. Oh, Carlac, that makes me so happy. I just love how genuine she is, you know? She makes me laugh. And goodness knows, she's a whole lot less angsty and complicated than most of these other bozos. Can't wait for bedtime. See you soon. All right, I gotta go. Look at them all. Guzzling poison like we've the right to be happy. I mean, hey, look. There's plenty of time to mourn the dead. Sometimes you just have to celebrate life. Have a drink. For their sake, if not your own. Hmm. Perhaps it'll make the evening more tolerable. That's a spirit. <sighs> this party's a bit more bearable, thanks to that pint. That pint? Think of it. No more caves, no more tents, no more running away. We'll be in a city with roads and markets and... Homes. Uh, okay. To beds and hearths. To dirty pubs and dwarven ale. 
Getting some real Star Trek vibes from that guy. You know, when they're trying to talk around fake teeth. Fate spins along as it should. Dost thou require a new ally? No, just, uh, just seeing how you were enjoying the party. I'll, I'll leave you to it. With haste. Puzzlant. Well, I see you're having fun over here. Honestly, I can't really blame you. I'm not much of a partier myself, but I'm going to guess you're less introverted and more just brooding. Yeah, hells. I was hoping you wouldn't notice I was gone. I mean, I didn't really. I was here for Fuzzle Lumps. I just happened to see you in passing. Figured I should uh, check in with you. You good? No. I'm deeply proud of you. A touch less so of myself. In truth, I don't feel in a festive mood. And I didn't want to cast a grey cloud over the night. I'm a devil. I love the people from the Grove, but I unsettle them deep down. As I seem to unsettle everyone nowadays. You don't want a devil at your party. Horns this sharp will pop the balloons, you see. And the guests won't take kindly to scars quite so monstrous. Okay, well, first of all, uh, I want to know how you know what balloons are, but we'll come back to that. But uh, second of all, look around, man. You got to get over yourself. Like 90% of the people at this party are devils and or horny and or scarred. I'm one short of the trifecta myself. It's not a big deal. <laughs> You pull them off far more finely than I do. But, off with you. This is your day. Have a dance. Enjoy the music. All right, buddy. I mean, look, all this angst can't be good for you, but if you don't want to mingle, that's, that's fine. Just uh, take care of yourself, all right? Some time alone beneath the stars, and I'll be back to my old self. Promise. Still, it's a night to remember. You've made sure of that. Yeah, I'm pretty awesome. He's right, too. My horns look way better. Gail? Thank you. You're welcome. There's that confidence I like. I thank you for seeking me out. Amid all this merriment, I wasn't sure we'd have a chance to speak this evening. I was hoping you'd spare me a moment. There was something rather magical I wished to show you. More's the pity you've already found someone else to make merry with. Just the two of you. You might be in for an adventure with Karlak. More than you bargained for. With a bit of luck. Or perhaps more than you bargain for, full stop. Far be it from me, of course, to question your tastes. Are you one million percent sure about that, Gail? Because I gotta say, buddy, that was some pretty questionable commentary. Caught on to that, did you? Might be the wine talking. As they say in Waterdeep, in wine there is truth. That's usually followed by, in water there is good sense. Good sense? We'll have to wait till the morrow. Uh-huh. Enjoy the night. It seems to me full of opportunities. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. Yeah, I was warned about this. Though I've got to say, uh, thus far, not, not nearly as bad as I was warned it might be. Guess they really tone things down. Shari! That's infernal for cheers. Or possibly turnip. Turnip for what? Do devils even grow turnips? Can't all be souls and flesh of the damned? Yeah, it's a growing problem. I need to dance! No. No, I need to lie down. 
Lie down. Then dance. Why not both? Hey, Scratch, how you doing, bud? Oh, make a dragon! No, no, an owlbear. I should be owlbear. Patience? Have you no respect for showmanship? Having performance issues, Roland. Hush you, and behold! Adoring applause? You're too kind. Remember when he could barely cast that? They grow up so fast. Never have I met such troglodytes. Now, pass the wine. Hearts a quiver. An adoring crowd, fine wine. I dare say this place is almost civilized. So you're glad you stayed? Not at all. But perhaps Leah had a point. What is the point in blades and spells if we don't use them? Though we won't need either soon. As Leroican's apprentice, I'll take care of everything. What in the world is Karlak doing back there? Looking good, Karlak. Look at them. How happy they are. We did that. That we did. I'm glad you stuck around. Me too. You're one of the good ones, you know that. Look us up when you hit Borders Gate. Be nice to see a friendly face. Are Roland and Leah actually getting along? I know you cut down a horde of goblins, but this is far more impressive. Hope you're enjoying the night, hero. I certainly am. Cheers to many more like this. Go on. The others will kill me if I keep you all to myself. I'm not even sure who you are. I think that's Zevlor's lieutenant. This might be the wine talking, but I'm feeling inspired. Thinking of writing my next song about you. But I need an angle. Any ideas? You know, normally I'd suggest something like courage or wisdom or leadership, but uh, have you seen me in this shirt? Also, a wizard hit on me like five seconds ago, so, you know, do what that, what you will. One raunchy ballad coming up. Sounds like a plan. So how's it going? Your song was coming along. Then things began spinning. Worry not, I shall return to it at first light. I like these people. They're joyful. It's contagious. Oh, who's a good boy? See, even Scratch is having fun. Alison? Go on now. Don't waste a night like this talking to me. We'll discuss your problem tomorrow. You know what, Halson? You and me, we, uh, we got off on the wrong foot, but you're all right. No, come on. Take your own advice. Mingle. Later, perhaps. Don't worry about me. <sighs> a night under the stars amidst nature's creation is just what I need after being locked up in the goblin's dungeon. Go on, enjoy yourself. Seek out some wine before it runs dry. There are a lot of thirsty people around here. Yeah, I noticed. Enjoy yourself tonight. I'll come and find you in the morning so we can talk. All right, all right. I can't afford to lose any hey, more of them. You have no idea how good it feels to see these people smiling. The singing we could probably do without, but even so, thank you. Go on, do your rounds. But if they hand you something purple, don't drink it. 
I think they got into Ethel's potions. Yeah, that's bad news. That'll just straight up kill them, so, you know, maybe put a stop to that. If any of your stuff goes missing, just let me know. You're family now. If any of your... Will do. Lazel, I see you're having fun. Skip the thirst, straight to grinding. I have seen the Kithraki tear a screaming Neogi's legs from its belly to fashion into blades. Yet, they could not match your nerve today. It was enough to drive me to madness. A pity for us you have promised your body to the tiefling. I've no doubt you will satisfy your tastes for the mundane. Yeah, 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 just your uh, average dragon squid plus bombshell from hell. About as mundane as it comes. And uh, speaking of coming, I'm really glad you came with us, Lazel. You, uh, you're weird, but you did help me off that ship. Vlacketh demands of me no less. Hmm. If only I might lay claim to my proper trophy. Come morning, you will wonder. You will wonder how my lips might have tasted. How my fingers on your skin might have felt. Oh, but do enjoy yourself this night. I intend to myself. Yeah, you, you, uh, you enjoy your grinding. Scratch. I wouldn't mind if you let them stay. Just a thought. You know, I would if I could. This uh, this is actually a lot of fun. Asterion, you want to make things even weirder? You know, I never pictured myself as a hero. Never thought I'd be the one they'd toast for saving so many lives. And now that I'm here... Yeah? I hate it. This is awful. What? Saving people? Doing good? I feel like that's the opposite of awful. We killed some goblins to save some tieflings. The tally of lives didn't change much. But what do I get for all my hard work? A pat on the head and vinegar for wine. <laughs> well, I mean, there's also the part where because you were doing good, I gave you some of my blood and didn't stab you through the heart, despite the fact that you tried to slit my throat the first time we met, but, you know, baby steps. At least try to have some fun. It's easy for some, of course. You and Karnak seem to be getting on very well. It's none of my business, of course. I wouldn't want to intrude. Watch, maybe. But never intrude. And <laughs> there it is. Well, Asterion, I've got to say, this is super weird. Um, also, I didn't really think you cared about Dragon Tail. <laughs> no, my love. I'm not jealous of the tiefling. But you go ahead. How fun. Yes, that does clearly sound like a man who is not at all jealous. If you're looking for another shot, I'm afraid you've missed it. Darn, that sucks. Well, Asterion, it's, uh, it's been uh, an experience. I will talk to you never. Shadow? Everyone seems to be in high spirits. I saw you with Karak. You two looked... cozy. Far be it from me to judge. Blood must still be running a little hot after everything. Strange. You know who I never thought I'd find myself caring for? Uh, oh wow, every one of these responses is pretty loaded. I'm going to say the T. 
tieflings? Exactly right. Never gave them much thought. Certainly not that bunch in the grove. Yet we came through for them. We saved their lives. Odd. Nothing odd about it. They were in distress, so we helped them out. We did some good. That's more easily said by some than others. But nobody's here to debate right from wrong. Share a bottle with me? Oh, uh, you know, I mean, I've got a thing, but... Yeah, you know what? Sure, pour me a drink. I think I owe you at least that much. I won't keep you long. I gather you've already made plans with someone for your evening. Uh, yes, yes, as, as everyone in camp keeps telling me, which is not at all super uncomfortable, we do have a hot day planned. It should be fun. There. Some liquid courage. And try to get some rest too, if you can. Tomorrow's another day. We should have had wine more often. More warming than the fire. Ah, Shadow. In another life, perhaps. You know, it was kind of a toss-up for a bit, but ultimately her whole... I should be out there. Her whole thing with Char was just too messy. Just a Alright, I think we're done. I actually really enjoyed that. Let's, uh, let's see what comes next. Finger poised on the pause button, just in case. I've heard the horror stories. Though, granted, mostly for characters like Minthara and Halson. The buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Oh, that's not even a question. Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? And then Auric went to sleep. Hey, you soldier. I think everyone's asleep. May I? Hello, you. I've been waiting for this all night. Isn't it mad? How good life is. Yeah, yeah. Things are messy and complicated, but... There's a lot of good that comes with it. Thank the gods. I was afraid I was the only one. Ten years is a long time to be trapped in the hells. Ten years without a kind word. A touch. When I look at you, I feel real again. Alive. Gods, I want to ride you till you see stars. Well, I uh, maybe not <laughs> how I would have put it, but... Uh... You really don't waste any time, do you? <laughs> Guess not. I just feel what I feel. No sense hiding it. You know, I wish, um, I wish the circumstances were better, but we've got to live in the moment, and this, this does feel like a good one. Ugh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't tease you or myself. I'd give anything to touch you, but I can't. Not until I can be sure I won't burn you. Oh, interesting. I mean, we do have the elixirs running, but I suppose... I suppose that is just resistance, not full-on immunity. So logistically, it would... Um, there'd still be issues, especially with relative sensitivity of associated components... 
I'll turn you to charcoal. Guaranteed. Well, what if we took steps to cool you down first? I'm sure there's some way to make this work. Around you. Tall order. But if you've got an idea, I'm all ears. Well, I am a warlock, am I not? Maybe I can call in some favors from Squid Boss. Sleep on it, maybe. If you've thought of something by morning, I'd love to know. For now, it's enough just to know you care enough to try. Aw, oh, that was actually really sweet. Oh. See, they get it. I trust you enjoyed your evening. After all your efforts, it was well deserved. It may be some time before you're afforded another such night. There is much to be done, and I promised I would help you however I could. I'm certain a cure for you can be found at Moonrise Towers, but it's complicated. The journey specifically, it's extremely perilous, though it seems you're well accustomed to navigating danger. I suppose it was too much to hope we were going to be cured here and now. To Moonrise, then. So tell me, Swaying Shrubbery, what makes Moonrise Tower so dangerous? To get to the towers, you'll need to pass through a terrible place. A cursed place. This curse shrouds everything in shadow. You will not find life, light, or anything natural there. Any who linger are twisted by the curse. They become shadow beings, tormented, dangerous souls. If that's the case, then why would the Absolute set up shop out there? Do you think the two things are connected? So it seems, though I don't know how. You will have to choose your approach carefully. You could go overland, along the Risen Road or through the mountains. Easier at first, but you'll run into the Shadow Curse eventually. You could also go under. There is a tunnel somewhere in the ruined Temple of Saluna. It leads to Moonrise Towers through the Underdark. Long ago, a man called Ketherick Thorn built a secret stronghold deep down there, before rallying a whole army of Dark Justicias, Shah worshippers. Dark Justicias? I must see for myself. Aridan and his lot were looking for a way down there. They were promised riches if they retrieved a relic called the Night Song. But I think there's more. From this stronghold, Ketherick's forces could access both the Temple of Saluna and Moonrise Towers. But he was defeated before he could launch an attack. If you can find this place, I'll wager it will reveal a more direct path to Moonrise Towers. And maybe even bypass the worst of the Shadow Curse. I mean, that sounds pretty good to me. I already found, like, three ways into the Underdark. Already? <laughs> if only I'd gone with you instead of Aradin. I would like to join your camp, if you'll allow me. I can offer my skills, my counsel. I've long sought to return to Moonrise Towers. It seems our fates have aligned. Wait, so after all the trouble we went through to get you back to the Grove, you want to go to Moonrise Tower? Mind if I ask why? Unfinished business and a lifetime of regret to repair. I helped overthrow Ketherick Thorm and his Dark Justicias years ago, but I failed to prevent him from unleashing darkness across the region before he was defeated. I spent years researching the curse, trying to put an end to it. Nothing has worked yet. If I can join you and get close to Moonrise, perhaps I can lift this curse. Same as you may find a cure for your infection. So that's what you were trying to do with Aridin. You weren't looking for the Night Song. You were trying to get to the Underdark. Precisely. Then perhaps I could have done something about both the Shadow Curse and Ceramorphosis aberrations. But in my eagerness, 
I put far too much faith in the abilities of Aridin and his band. We didn't even get close. What about the Grove? I've chosen a successor as first druid, Francesca of the High Forest. A bird's already been dispatched to summon her. Uh, I'm sorry, am I supposed to know who that is? Precisely. Who indeed? You do not know and neither do any of the others. The Grove needs to move beyond the mistakes of the past. What it needs is an unknown quantity. An outsider who can enforce the Oak Father's teachings without bias. This is why I chose Francesca. She will restore simplicity and purity to the Grove in my absence. I guess. I mean, you don't... You saw what happened when you were just gone, right? Like the power struggle that almost killed a bunch of refugees. You don't think there's going to be bad blood if you just bring in someone new? Resentment will spring up like mushrooms no matter what I do. You cannot please everyone, and you'd be a fool to try. Now, we've quite the journey ahead. Best get started. Yeah, okay. I noticed I had zero input on whether or not you actually came, but that's cool. Okay, so our first major story arc is finally complete. Giving way to many more a mystery. And a hint of hot and steamy romance, perhaps? Ooh, speaking of which. Before we wrap up, there's something I want to try. What are you thinking about? So ten years, huh? How's that been? Hmm. Sad. I couldn't let myself feel sad in the hells. Letting my guard down would have been a death sentence. And letting, say, a cambion near me would have been disastrous. I thought it best to just to... keep my distance. But loneliness that deep gets into the marrow. Now that I'm here, among friends, I can feel it burning out of me. Little by little, step by step. Well, Karlak, I, I would love to help you with that. Where would you start? I mean, look, a little goes a long way. I'd, I'd start small. I'd hold your hand, perhaps. And put it somewhere interesting, I hope. Gods, we better find a way to call me off soon. I'm not sure how much more of this I can take. Yeah, uh, about that. Hey, you. So, hey, it's no elixir of fire resistance, but I, I think I might have something. If you have any ideas, I'm all for it. Give me all you've got. All right. Remember, you asked. Hey, buddy. Wait, you want to play play fetch? You know, maybe next time. Ooh, this is clever. Might even work. Come here. Dizzy. And you, are you all right? Still in one piece. And, uh, better than ever. I hope that's true. Because I'm hoping for seconds, thirds, and fourths once we find a way to cool off this engine. Trust me, we'll, uh, we'll get this figured out. You're on my to-do list. Mine too. Soon enough, you're going to be mine. But until then, I'll play nice. 
You have your fun with the others till then. I don't mind sharing, if I must. But keep a piece left over for me, hmm? Okay, well that's a little weird, but sure. Count on it. I will then. Aw. I've got to say, that, that was a lot sweeter than I thought it would be. Also, I absolutely love that Shovel and Rex seem to be like her infernal gossip group. But yeah, yeah, you know, after um, after all the horror stories about how aggressively horny this game gets, that was a pleasant surprise. It was uh, it was actually chaste and sweet, and uh, I very much enjoyed it. And it was not at all the borderline porn I was warned might be coming our way. I mean, who knows? Maybe there still is. There are two more acts ahead of us. I just remember when the game first dropped, there was no shortage of clips of screaming streamers jamming on the panic button midstream. Just glad that's not what this turned into. That said, uh, overall, a very enjoyable wrap-up for the first major arc. I really liked unwinding with all the folks that we helped save. And I know we've still got some of Act 1 ahead of us. We've got the Underdark, we've got... Lazel's whole thing with a Gith Patrol. We'll probably tackle that next time around. But yeah, yeah, this was nice. We'll hit the pause button for now. I'll go ahead and take care of the usual off-screen bookkeeping, get us prepped for another day of adventure. And we will pick up here next time. I'll have to mull on who we can drop to make room for Lazel. A little frustrating, but that's just the Gith and take of it. And uh, I'll see you then. Oh, and special thanks to the Raiders, the fine folks who help make these videos possible. Including, but not limited to, Revenant, Eloise, Croaking LOR, Dragon Matrix 7, Dracut, Theory V23, Egon Alter, Excelsior, Goatleaf, James Tremay, Kazor, Mark Diemza, Nathan Welch Jr., Overlord Ferrum, Random Passerby, Robbie B., Thomas Pietkowski, Trip Hop and Skip, and Valenrook. Thanks for your support, guys. That said, if you'd also like to help support the channel, then feel free to push the buttons that do the things. Trust me, it does make a difference. Or you could even check out the PayPal, the Patreon, the Nexus GG, or the YouTube memberships. Links are in the description. See you soon.